Hi everyone, my name is Alexa and I am an OT student intern at the FRC. Um, my previous videos this week had talked about emotional regulation. Uh, we talked about calming activities when you're in that yellow and red zone. And now we're going to talk about alerting activities which are typically used when you're in that blue zone. So a lot of the things that you feel are um, depressed, lethargic, a lot of fatigue very little motivation to move or um, be productive. So these alerting activities are used in a way to kind of shock your senses and kind of bring you back up into that green zone. Similarly to the calming activities, uh, the alerting activities also work best if they're used in conjunction with each other. So the more senses you can involve, the better the results. Um, some things you can do for your sense of touch, your tactile system, could be holding something cold, like an ice cube, um, taking a cold shower, or looking at kind of the opposite things as the calming sensation. So instead of something soft, maybe something a little rough or spiky or something like that. If you don't have access to some of those things, this could just be something as simple as wrapping yourself in a cool sheet or sitting in a cold room, um, something like snapping something on your wrist like this, something that'll kind of wake those um, sensory receptors up. Um, your sense of taste can play a huge role in this too. So again, you're wanting um, really strong tasting things. So some strong coffee or something sour, biting into a lemon or something like that, um, eating something like a fireball or something with extra hot sauce, something like that to really wake up those senses in your mouth. For your auditory system, this could mean listening to music a little bit louder, um, things with a more fast paced upbeat type music, um, something a little bit more chaotic. It could also mean something like white noise or listening to the sounds of different kinds of alarms, something like that. One of the largest and most impactful systems as far as alerting techniques would be the vestibular and proprioceptive systems. So again, that's where your body is in space um, and that mind-body connection about where you are and how you're moving. Um, so a lot of alerting activities will involve fast jerky movements. Um, this could be going on a bumpy car ride. It could be doing some forms of exercise or heavy weight lifting, things like that. Um, so today I'm going to show you a couple workouts that you could do on a picnic table because I am currently quarantined in my house and there's not a lot of places for me to get any exercise. So I'm going to be going through a couple um, fun exercises that you guys can try if um, you have a picnic table nearby. So hope you enjoy. But the first exercise I'm going to be doing is a squat variation where I'm going to be jumping onto the seat part of the picnic table. I'm going to jump up and back down into a squat. Um, this is going to be good for your quadriceps and your hamstring muscles. I want explosive movements jumping up and controlled movements jumping down. The next variation or the next exercise I'm going to be showing you um, is a little bit more cardio based. Um, I'm going to be alternating my feet on the seat part of the picnic table. So it looks something like this. Where I'm switching my feet each time. Next variation I'm going to show you guys is a uh, push-up variation. So if you have a hard time doing regular push-ups, you can try this variation using the seat part of the picnic table. So 
So I really want slow and controlled movements all the way down as you're lowering yourself and pushing back up. This is good for your biceps, triceps, shoulders, and your chest. Um, the next variation uh, I will be showing you will be for your core. Um, this will be working your, your abdominals. You will be using the seat part of the picnic table again. I'm going to be suspending my legs over the edge, lowering them, and bringing them back up. So I'll show you on this side so you can see a little bit better. My legs are off of the picnic table and I'm just bringing my legs up. Nice, slow and controlled down and back up. Size will be for your back. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be done on a picnic table, but if you're already here, then why not? So there I'm just placing my hands behind my head and I'm raising as far as I can my top half up. If it helps, I kind of hooked my feet around the edge of the picnic table to give myself a little bit more leverage. So those were just a few examples of some alerting techniques that you could use um, around your house. Some are definitely more intense than others but I encourage you to try some of them to see what works for you, and I hope that you enjoy uh, working out on your picnic tables.